in this tutorial i will share some tips and tricks to animate clothes and you have to share your your animation with me on instagram what you have learned from this tutorial delete the cube and add a text by pressing shift a press number key 1 for front view and then r x 90 to rotate it then go to text setting and select center in horizontal then select your font I have downloaded the Batman font. You can use any font. Then press tab key and enter your text. Then again press tab key to come back to object mode. Now we will add some geometry to the text. So in geometry increase the extrude and little bit depth. Press 1 for front view and make a duplicate by pressing shift D. For now hide it. Select the first text and convert it to mesh by pressing mouse right key. Convert to mesh. Press tab key to go to edit mode. Then select only the front face. Then press X and faces. This will remove only the front face of the text. Then unhide the second text. Select it and in text setting fill mode select none hide the first text to adjust the second one reduce its true value unhide the first text then select the second text and move it in y location Now add a plane and move it in Z location. Scale it in X axis. Now select the first text and go to the physics property and apply collusion to the text. Then select the plane and apply cloth to it. Then in collusion enable self collusion. You can play with the cloth values if you want but I leave it as it is plane act like this because we have not apply subdivision to it for that press tab key and go to edit menu then mouse right key and select subdivision then increase the subdivision now see it is act like a cloth mouse right key and apply set smooth to it if you want to make any changes in the cloth setting, change it and bake the animation. But what if you want to make any changes to the cloth after bake? For that, delete the bake. Make your changes here. I am applying subdivision surface and solidify and also reduce the quality to its default value and if and if you are ready then again bake it select the text and press the periodic key to make text as a center object then press ctrl alt 0 to set your camera to the view decrease the focal length in camera setting and also the y location the main part for this tutorial is to create this floating cloth and this is how we can achieve it first add a plane then scale it in x axis by pressing s and x then add a bezier curve by pressing shift a now press tab key because we will edit this bezier curve hide the plane and select any point of the curve then press e this will extrude the curve then press r to rotate it then again press e to extrude it and r to rotate it so that the shape will form correctly and you can also use g key to move the point then press a to select all and press mouse right key and select subdivision this will give more handles by which you can achieve more appropriate shape of curve in curve setting increase both the value to 64 now unhide the plane again go to edit menu by pressing tab key and subdivide 
the plane and also add some fracture to it then come back to object mode by pressing tab key and add subdivision surface and solidify to it add one more modifier curve bring it to the top select bezier curve in curve object now see the plane is taking the shape of the curve as you move the plane in the x axis it will move in the shape of curve so at frame 1 enter a keyframe then at last frame move the plane and again enter keyframe it is moving correctly now go to physics property and apply cloth to it now again go to edit menu by pressing tab key and select some random vertex then go to object data property and in vertex group click plus sign to add a group then click assign actually what we are doing here is is we are telling blender to bake the complete cloth except this selected point which means the entire cloth will move except these points which are assigned come back from edit mode by pressing tab key then in cloth setting go to shape in pin group select the group which you have assigned those vertex and also enable self collusion in collusion now see the plane is now acting like a cloth and also moving in the shape of the curve if we have not assigned the vertex then the cloth will fall in the downward direction automatically similarly in this manner we will make our animation here also add a curve by pressing shift a then in edit mode press 7 for the top view and press R and rotate it now adjust the curve and make your shape in which you want to move your cloth this is little time taking so spend your time with the curve shape and all the changes you can do with the help of G key which help you to move the curve then R key to rotate it and E key to extrude it similarly you can add as many as curve you want to add to your scene I am adding one more curve do each and every changes of curve in edit mode only and the tab key in your keyboard is used to come to edit mode and come back to object mode select both the curve in object mode then come to edit mode mouse right key and apply subdivision to the curve then come back to object mode and in curve setting of both the curve apply 64 in both resolution and render then add a plane and scale it in y and x then go to edit menu and apply subdivision to it and also some fractal then in modified setting apply subdivision surface and solidify then add curve and move it to the top then in curve object select the first curve as you see earlier the plane has started moving in the shape of curve unhide the previous plane and check at what frame the previous plane or cloth is falling in my situation i think 200 frame is okay so for a while i make 200 frame as a start frame and then increase the end frame up to 500 before adding keyframe to the plane make a duplicate of it by pressing shift d then select the plane 002 and in modifier setting select Bezier circle 002 in curve object and select the first plane again and enter the keyframe in 
location act then go to last frame and move the plane in the x location until it's get disappear from the camera view then again enter keyframe do this similar process with the second plane also now play your animation and if it seems too slow then reduce your end frame and select only the last keyframe and adjust to your frame for both the plane select the first plane and go to physics property and apply cloth to it then go to cache and select your start frame 200 and end frame 400 then in collusion enable self collusion then again go to edit mode by pressing tab key then press periodic key to focus on the plane go to vertex select mode and select some random vertex after selecting go to object data property in vertex group add a group then assign it come back to object mode by pressing tab key then in physics property save select group in pin group do this similar process with the second plane also now when you play it both the plane has started acting like a cloth suppose you want to select some different vertex for better result for that select the plane and go to edit menu then click the select this will select all the group all the vertex which is assigned with this group then click remove this will remove all the vertex then again select your vertex whatever you want to select and again click assign this will assign new vertex to the plane and remove the previous one and this is one of the most important steps because you have to use these steps again and again to achieve the best result i i have also removed and assigned multiple vertex before making this tutorial and you have to also play with the curve handle and to make changes to the shape i just want to share this trick with you all so i just create a random animation but you have to create your own version of animation with the help of this trick and share it with me on instagram or twitter now play with the cloth values of both the plane and when you are satisfied with your cloth then bake both the plane now adjust your start frame in my case when the cloth is touching the text it is best for me that's why i am selecting 19 as a start frame now it's time to apply material to the scene go to shading tab then go to world then in render property enable all the three option then add principal volume by pressing shift d and connect it with volume reduce its density to 0.05 and select your color select the point light and adjust it in x location select object and in first plane apply a material decrease some roughness and increase scene then select your color in the base color add a timeline then select the second plane and apply a material and select your color then decrease the roughness and increase the scene select the third plane and apply the same material what you have applied to the second one Select the first text and apply a material. Then add color wrap 
मिक्स आर जी बी ग्रेडियंट टेक्सचर एंड वेव टेक्सचर दिन सेलेक्ट ग्रेडियंट टेक्सचर एंड क्लिक कंट्रोल टी इफ यू एनेबल नोड रेंगुलर कनेक्ट ग्रेडियंट टेक्सचर एंड वेव टेक्सचर टू मिक्स आर जी बी एंड मिक्स आर जी बी टू कलर रैप एंड कलर रैप टू प्रिंसिपल बी एस डी एफ इमिशन सेलेक्ट रिंग इन वेव टेक्सचर अप्लाई टू कलर ऑफ योर चॉइस टू दी कलर रैप एंड सेलेक्ट ईज रेड्यूज दी मिक्स आर जी बी वैल्यू ऑल्सो इंक्रीज जेड रोटेशन वैल्यू एंड एक्स लोकेशन वैल्यू दिन सेलेक्ट द सेकेंड टेक्स्ट एंड अप्लाई इमिशन टू इट इंक्रीज इट्स स्ट्रेंथ टू ट्वेंटी एंड वॉट एवर कलर यू वॉन्ट दिन एड अ नॉइस टेक्स्चर एंड प्रेस कंट्रोल टी दिन कनेक्ट कलर रैप इन बिटवीन नॉइस टेक्सचर एंड इमिशन एंड सेलेक्ट द सेम कलर टू द व्हाइट पोर्सन एंड मेक द ब्लैक पार्ट कंप्लीटली व्हाइट प्ले विथ कलर रैप एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ टू मेक द ब्लिंकिंग इफेक्ट एट फ्रेम टू फिफ्टी वन मेक इमिशन स्ट्रेंथ जीरो एंड एंटर की फ्रेम देन गो टू द लास्ट फ्रेम एंड इंक्रीज द इमिशन स्ट्रेंथ ट्वेंटी एंड अगेन एंटर की फ्रेम नाउ कन्वर्ट दिस सेडर एडिटर टू ग्राफ एडिटर एंड क्लिक नॉर्मलाइज प्रेस एन एंड go to the modifier and select noise enable restricted frame range and enter start frame 215 and end frame of 400 now play with the scale and strength value this will add the blinking effect again select shader editor and go to the world if you and if you want to change the color you can change it to make any changes in the cloth you first have to delete the back then make your changes and again back your cloth simulation go to render property color management and select high contrast in look now it's time to render it so follow these steps